so a lot of these fans certainly have come out to see her here tonight. She's got a crowd-pleasing style, and you can argue the best boxing in her division. Well, she's she's tremendous. I mean, you would think that she would be out there with Michaela Mayer and Katie Thomas, but instead, she's in the UFC's octagon fighting in mixed martial arts, but possessing a skill set that's catered for the, for, for the squared circle, that is catered for the boxing ring. She does a tremendous job fighting behind the jabs, setting up her second shot. It's never the first shot that gets you. It's the setup to that shot that really does hurt her opponents. She's tremendous, and I love watching her use the sweet science oh. to climb the ranks in the UFC. Yeah, and her opponent told us in the fighter meeting, I can't allow her to establish that jab or it's going to be a long night, and you know she's going to try to get it going early. We shall see. from a sold-out Eddie Hot Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. And here is tonight's tale of the tape. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Raquel Rocky Pennington. And now the commissioner of Arnold, fighting out of the red corner, Catlin Venomino Vieira. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here is Ketlin Vieta, another big spot for her here tonight. She got off to a very good start her last time out. Now let's see if Vieta can continue that trend and continue her ascent up the Bantamweight rank. Pace early on to this one. Throws the left hand. Pennington goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown on the self there. Nothing doing on that. She blocked that punch. Get he jump. That guillotine choke is tight. She's got her in her full guard locked in. It's only a matter of time before she makes her tap. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. She's got to continue to fight from her back, and that's exactly what she's doing. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Vieta. Oh, 
Under two minutes here to go in round one. She is intent on getting the submission tonight. What a tight arm bar. in a tough situation to defend that arm bar. Lands a big elbow there. Vieta's in half court. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Pennington's back inside control here. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by Raquel Pennington. Right. Five minutes in the books. Right there's the horn, DC. We'll look back at some of the highlights from that previous round, and you know what she does. She grounds you, she pounds you. Yeah, you know it's coming, but it's on you to try to change it. It's on you to stop the result. It's on you to change the narrative of the fight. She says, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to get you there, and I'm going to pound your face into the ground. That's exactly what she did at the close of that round. Round two underway. Well placed kick there by Penny. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the rip. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this one goes up. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Vieta. Let's go, let's go. Pretty good connection by her there on the knee. And I don't care where you are getting me. It doesn't feel good, and I'd imagine you don't want to take too much. She thought they'd be available, and she was exactly right. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. Pennington gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Try to establish that jab. All right, so that body continues to get ripped up. The judges are looking for damage and damaging moments, and her body investment has been the narrative in this fight. Early, you may not have been able to see how much of an effect this was taking on her, but now you see it. The game plan, everything's clear now, and we'll see her continue to do that as she tries to chase down the finish. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's got to get out to the right. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent to finish her. Pennington getting worked to the body by that elbow. Attempting a choke now. That guillotine is tight. Oh, guillotine choke getting close now. Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. Really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. We send it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. You're going the winner by tap out, Raquel Rocky Pennington. Well, how about this young woman as the celebration is on? She sat down in our fighter meeting and she told us to a man, to a woman, I'm going to submit her at some point in this fight, and that's exactly how she gets it done. That's exactly how she got it done. She knew where the fight needed to be. 
And the moment she got a chance, the moment she got the submission locked in, she latched on that thing like you wouldn't believe it because she knew it was her chance. This is my moment to get my result. She did exactly that, got the submission win, and on to the next one.